Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It's October 13th, 2024 here in Canada. It's Thanksgiving long weekend. It was also my birthday weekend and yesterday I went to the stamp show and I was told I was a tease by one of you because I didn't show the stamps that I bought at the stamp show. Well, maybe I was. So today is the day that I'm going to show you what stamps I got at the stamp show and uh, it only cost me $25 for everything I'm going to show you. So there are bargains to be had. One of the things I did show you in yesterday's video was uh, these pages. So they are double-sided, seven row. Uh, they were used. There were 10 of them and only cost $5. So to get these very old pages new, a lot more expensive than that. And uh, the dealer that I go to uh, always has stacks and stacks of these. So I like to pick up uh, 10 here and there because they're very useful, as you will see in a moment. If you're finding this channel for the first time, make sure you like, you subscribe, you leave positive comments, you share with other people, and you put the notification bell on so you don't miss out on anything. Uh, the next thing I want to show you are the little packets. These ones. And uh, they're all, you know, marked down from what they used to be. So I'm going to show you them. So I paid $3 for these. These are mint never hinge stamps. These are all mushrooms. They're from France. And the next one also from France cost me a dollar for these three stamps. Put on a bit of an angle so you don't get the glare or you get less of the glare at least. It says their Scott value is $2 and 10 cents. So it's 50% off. The next one I paid a dollar for these and mainly, uh, <laughs> I bought these ones mainly for this big long stamp here. But I thought they were interesting stamps. You know, you got Winston Churchill there at the end. Very interesting looking stamps. And they cost a buck. These next ones uh, were two dollars, and I bought them because they were specimens, which makes them a little bit more unique. So from uh, Saint Vincent. Triangle stamps. There's a bit of a theme to that coming up. And the last one of those little packets I bought, also $2 uh, from France. And there are these long ones. So my initial plan when I went into the stamp show was to buy stamps only from 1974 because it was my birthday yesterday. And uh, that wasn't the right approach because I didn't come prepared with all my Scott catalogs to go through every stamp, find out what year they were issued because all the stamps at a stamp show are in catalog order, not uh, year order. And so I would never know if a stamp from Paraguay was from 1974 or 1987 or without having a catalog to reference it to. So I decided to switch gears and go with uh, some interesting style of stamps, whether they were long stamps. And as you will see, different types of stamps coming up that I found in the 10 cent book. So those are the last stamps I have to show you. But I will show you those as a... Uh, as I move the camera because they're on the desk and I want to make sure you don't get the glare as well. So this morning what I did is I took all the hinges that were on the back of these stamps, cleaned them up and then put them in my Vario pages that I just bought. I bought a couple of them here for these. You can see this nice long one from the Soviet Union, so a different style stamp. Uh, these two I thought were interesting from 1958-1959 uh, Japanese stamps and a couple Christmas stamps from the Netherlands. We have a couple revenue stamps, which I thought were very interesting too. Shows you, you can find almost anything you want when you go through these 10 cent books. And so uh, here we got one from Haiti, a really nice one from Costa Rica. Uh, it was never used, it was hinged, mint hinged is how it would guess be uh, referred to. And this one here, uh, French India, Liberia, nice old stamp there too. These ones here from Japan too, I love the old ships. So it shows you, you can collect whatever you want. Uh, there is a variety of things to go out there and look for, whether it is shape, whether it's the theme you're looking for, whether it's the age of the stamp you're looking for too. Maybe it's just a, one in your collection of a country that you collect that you're missing. Maybe you're into architecture. There's a nice, beautiful architecture one. St. Pierre Miquelon, which is the uh, French colony right off Canada here. Maybe you didn't know there was a French colony right off Canada. But yes, there is. So those, a set of those. 
This one's really interesting because this is on metal. This is a metal stamp from Butane. So I was really happy to find that in amongst the book. Molly, so really nice if you're into automotive stamps. This was a really interesting one. It is from 1974, so I did grab that one. And uh, the Sierra Leone, they make some amazing stamps. If you saw Kyler's collection, he showed some examples of uh, really nice stamps that they put out in one of the videos that I did. Maybe you're into flowers. So here's some nice German flower stamps. I'm going to flip the Vario page over and you can see the other side. Continuing with another German stamp. Then a beautiful big Italian stamp. France produces some beautiful stamps. A couple of those there and this one as well. Carriage dried. And then we get back into shapes. So here's some beautiful ones from Netherlands. You can see it's a set, so it is, hasn't been uh, detached. It's nice to get both of them together. Beautiful Costa Rican stamp too here. The aviation theme. A couple more early ones. Guatemala. The two in the four cent. And then the Philippines. We're gonna start to see a theme now. So I wanted to find all the ones that I could find that were triangular, as I enjoy a variety of uh, shapes when it comes to stamps. You can see that there are stamps from all over. This one's San Marino and then Mongolia before that, all producing triangular stamps or airmail stamps, maybe Liberia and airmail is what you wanna collect. I've done a video in the past on airmail and how that uh, got all started, but there are lovely airmail stamps out there. If that's what you want to collect, you can do that too. Animal stamps could be an option for you. And we are just, there's one. Mozambique. Aviation, this is a nice set. So you have the same image, just different colors. All triangular ones, maybe you're into snakes. I apologize if you're not, hope not to scare you there. Republic of Congo, you can see these are two that are still attached. So you can find stamps that are in that um, form too. But then the last ones I have to show you are these nice animal series. So there's four stamps that make up this one scene. So it's quite important to get all four of them to see exactly what's happening. Because if you isolate it and just said, oh, I got the monkey stamp from that one. Beautiful stamp on its own, but then you miss out on seeing how the story continues. It's the same thing here with the lion, the water buffalo hippopotamuses and the giraffes and so uh, Burundi made a bunch of these sets and I was lucky enough to find five of them fully intact not detached from each stamp so just the running storyline of animals and nature Some of the images are, uh, are uh, disturbing. Maybe that one there is disturbing to you. This is my favorite with the blue, but the, the zebra there, or zebra, however you want to say it. So all of those stamps, those stamps, and that, those are the bargains you can find if you get a chance to go to a stamp show. So all of that for $25 Canadian is a good deal. And it gives me the option now too of broadening the collection. Like I was saying throughout the video, it doesn't matter what you want to collect, there are options for you when you go there. Um, I like to pick out the things that might be interesting for you guys to see. And uh, for me, the, the shape stamps are always things that jump out or stamps that are made from different materials. Yesterday you just would have seen um, the uh, raised image stamps that I got from Kyler for my birthday. Uh, so those are highly sought after. Uh, that tin stamp in today's one, a uh, nice stamp too. 
there's embroidery stamps that are out there. So don't just think of postage stamps as uh, pieces of paper because they're not all pieces of paper and uh, some of them have just these amazing images on them too. So yeah, there's a variety of things you can collect and this is what it represents. It doesn't take a lot of money to collect them and if you go to the right places, even online, so maybe you don't have a stamp show near you or a stamp club near you, you can go online and you can get stamps for pennies and uh, there's some beautiful ones that are out there. If you do want to spend more on stamps, you can. You can buy a mint stamp, you can buy sheetlets, you can buy books, uh, you can buy rare stamps. Those are options out there too, of course, but not everybody has the means to do that. So if you're just wanting to get into stamp collecting or you've started a small collection or inherited a stamp collection and you want to find those little stamps that either um, are more interesting for you or fill in some of the gaps, they are out there at a really inexpensive price for most stamps. Well, that's it for today. Hopefully uh, no tease no longer. <laughs> you see what I have gotten at the stamp show and uh, what's coming up next. There are stamps that were sent to me by Stephen from Australia and so I'm going to show you a video on that. Also, I did get a birthday present that has to do with Lego so my son and I will do a video uh, showing you those as well. Plus, I got a little Lego set from my in-laws last night. This is one of the friend sets. This is the only friend set that I have. So I was kind of nice to be able to put that one together too. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. Have a great week. Have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?